I started her in 2019 and she was a doll that I purchased online because I wanted to with some other dolls because I saw her and I said okay gotta get her she's got one wild hair right now I'm gonna have to work on it's sticking straight up look at that I'm gonna cut that one off because I don't think it's going anywhere anyway uh, I bought her for her dress because I'll show you her before picture somewhere in here to show you what she looked like and that that was just not going so kind of clashy red hair I like the red hair this I worked on the red hair with some ideas you know I could use it but it just clashed so bad with her outfit and the black looks so much nicer one of the things that I did besides give her this really cute little um smirk I know you see that little dimple on this side her mouth just her mouth for some reason just sort of turned up anyway I guess I don't know it was weird but I worked with that I mean I gave her that little sweep they do look really close I'm going to do my close-ups you can see really rough texture so when I do my um my little bits of pastel and stuff it does just hit the surface and keeps her that have that crackly look to her skin she has the really cool lashes where I use three different lashes I used a uh, kind of a wispy lash on the inside a more detailed lash um, on the outside and then right here I just took a piece of lash that was kind of crazy looking and I just gave her a few wispies right here on the edge so it gave her a really different look I gave her the wicked eyebrows I've given a few of these these eyebrows I love the look, kind of wicked eyebrows like she is up to something one thing I did on her that I don't normally do is I painted her sideburns and that kind of came from I had a Barbie that had hair painted on the side and I thought you know what I think uh I think that's a good look. I'm gonna try that. So in doing that, I also painted in, kind of filled in the back some. When I turn around, I'll show you. Now, her hair, she it was like, I said, she was a redhead. I didn't like it, but I had this black wig that actually came off of a, um, uh, oh my God, Native American doll. And once I talk, you know, by the time I paint a Native American doll, it's white usually anyway, so they don't look Native American. So I had the black left over. The only reason I didn't use Tibetan lamb hair is I had nothing long like this. There's just nothing I had that could compete with the, you know, to give me the link that I needed. Wish I had something longer, but I didn't. So I'm working with that. And this was braided and I liked the waves. I wanted, I thought about flattening them out with the flat iron, which if you've worked with doll hair, you know you can do that at a very low temperature. You can still do that if you want to. I didn't like all of her bangs. She had really thick bangs, so I pulled some of her bangs to the back and to give her that little bump. And I thought about, you know, how I would style her hair. I'm not so sure I want to style her hair. I'm kind of digging it down. But you, the whoever buys it, if they want to change out a wig, they can, but they can style her hair. I would, and also what I did with the braided part is I just kind of worked it in to more. You're going to have to play with this hair when you get Because after she's been packed up, yeah, her hair is going to be a hot mess. But you can just kind of fluff it up. Let me give her a little turn. Sorry about that. Oops. Had to be careful when I turn my dolls because... Oh, don't fall. So I've worked her little frizz into the back of her hair because her. I like. I just wanted to be really full and <clears throat> losing my voice. Very And there goes my air conditioner coming on. Anyway, wanted to keep it very full and fluffy. So you'll see some better pictures here about how nice your hair can look. And it's, you can tease this hair and do some really fun stuff with it. And I was talking about how I painted the back. So I gave her that little bit in the, in the back. And I also tried to fill in, oops, come on. Just, that's her, not painted hair. Oh, this I didn't have a whole lot painted. It's like this side had a little bit more visible. Yeah, so you can see I did more black pinning and I think that's going to be something I'm going to incorporate more I always have a little bit of a problem with my even my lamb hair because I just can't get it all as much on there without it looking too much like just pelt so uh, I think I'm going to do, add a little more paint in the future all right I love her dress I love the little trim this is how it came it's velvet and it collects dust and being that she's an older doll she's got some dust in there then you can't really wash them so I'm kind of stuck with that. I did notice, well, you know, because she is an older doll, that she does have some wear around her ruffle. And I trimmed a little bit of that off. Uh, that can be trimmed off. But it does have some little rough edges, uh, worn edges. And I think it has a little tear, like right here. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the thing, not my, my hand. They used like a hot iron to, or I mean a hot knife to cut this fabric so that it would seal the fraying 
didn't do a great job. It kind of looks burnt right here. I'm just pointing these little things out because they, um, I, that is, I guess, a considered a flaw, but you know, she's, she's a, give her a break. She's old. Uh, this is what a little stitch. I just realized my stitch kind of shows. I'm kind of weird. I don't like my stitches to show. There's my spider that I put on all my dolls. I made a little rosette here. Now the black on her dress is actually, you can see where I kind of stitched it in. It's, I added that. I just felt like the color satin bodice that she had was not working. Well, it's kind of more, you know, this kind of ugly color right here. It's kind of brownie red. I like her blood red. But anyway, go with the really dark lips. On my other doll that I did, I did red eyes and I decided to keep hers this more chocolatey color only because originally I was gonna put a red wig on her. Changed my mind. So anyway, I didn't paint her eyes as red. I had this ornament and I've always loved this ornament. It goes with nothing I have, but I have held on to it because I said, there's gotta be a use for this ornament. It looks so cool with her outfit. And I just felt like she needed a prop. She just got to have a little bit more going for her. So if you get her little dress pulled out correctly, and it just a little hint. I uh, you know it is gold and her necklace is silver. And if you have a problem with that, I'm so sorry. Another thing, if you wanted, you could just replace this with like a, a little jewel that you may have. This gold. I mean, you can, I encourage you to make these your own and just sew the spider somewhere else. Because that's what I do. If you don't see my spider, it's probably sewn somewhere because I didn't think it worked with the outfit. I'll hide it somewhere or I'll stick it like in a weird place. You know, it'll, it's not hidden, hidden. Like I've had one, like a bride where it's hidden in her veil and you would have to like lift her veil to see it and some weird stuff like that. Anyway, this is just acrylic, but I just thought it looked so cool. And now when I look at it, I go, well, you know, if I had a gold spider, that would look even better. If that was silver, that would look kind of cool. That you can remove, but I encourage you to find something. I mean, a lantern or something. She just needed something to uh, to hold. Anyway, that's her hand. She's got black fingernails. Not something I always do. And there's the other hand. One of the coolest things about this doll is she did not come with any shoes. Because I'm saying, you know, a lot of these dolls I buy second hand, and she was one of them. And I like she came with some other dolls, and that's we're missing all sorts of shoes, stands, all that kind of stuff. I just got them in parts. So she has these feet that I don't really like as much, but now I think I like them more. They're just a plain feet. There's no, it's just for shoes. There are no um, toes or anything. And sometimes they'll have high heel shoes, which I really wish she had had the high heels, but she didn't. And look guys, it's a lot of trouble changing out legs because it's just hard. So what I did was I took this uh, lace. And now this is not just any kind of lace. This is tatted lace that I have literally uh, 18 inches of. And it was, you know, all handmade, just really precious. And I cut off a pieces of it to use to give the boots more dimension. And she's got a little piece on her heel as well. But anyway, just give you an idea. And then I painted it all black. Now this is the first time I have used this type paint. It's the all, um, you can use it on multiple surfaces, uh, so let's hope that it'll, t it'll adhere to everything like it's supposed to. There are a few spots on it where I was using the Mod Podge to adhere the uh, lace, and it <laughs> kind of got a little lumpy. So it's not perfect. First time I've done this in on these tight boots. However, when I did my large doll, she's, I, don't know, I think Patricia's about 30 inches tall, she, um, I did some of this on her boots out of, with some other, just a little scrap of lace that I have of crochet, you know, type lace. And, but that is a very nice little piece of lace I put on her because that was all, well, hand done because a lot of lace is. Now I got to measure her. I think she's 20 inches or yeah, she looks to be about a 20 inch doll, maybe taller. So she's a little bit taller than my typical 18 inch doll, which I don't have anybody handy who's 18 inches, but I have a lot of dolls. Hmm. I think this one's 16 inches or maybe 14. Anyway, here's our little friend. Yeah, this is a smaller doll. Oh, look. I do love to take dolls like this and kind of put them together. That's the cool thing about making the, um, such a variety of these dolls. I could turn this one into a little gothic girl who would look beautiful with this girl. Sometimes I use wigs if it's the right wig. In this case, this was to me the right wig. 
And she had really, really thick bangs, and I just worked with them, getting them back off of her face to give her that lift. Anyway, I'll insert some more pictures of Steels so you can see. So, yes, put a lot of time and love in her. I actually did her while I was teaching a class so I could show my kids. These are my um, high school kids. What I do for fun and profit, <laughs> but they were like, I can't believe you're doing this. And it was around Halloween when I did it anyway, so it made it a lot more fun. So brought her home. She just needed some touching up, needed her, like her eyelashes. You know, of course, I swapped out her wig, and then I did some finishing pieces. Didn't have to do a lot with the dress other than sew it on her tighter. Um, I also took up this this part of her dress a little bit, the skirt and the bodice to make it fit her a little smoother. Oh, I know what I did. So she came with those god-awful pom-pom boobies. Sorry, lady, I'm playing with your boobies. Anyway, they're horrible, but she really needed that, that part of her chest to come out to make this dress fit correctly because it was looking weird. And so I had to make her some new boobies. And I did. I made them larger than those little pom-poms. You know, because they'll stick those pom-poms like one here and one here. It's crazy. They're never in the right place. So I put them in the more appropriate place. So they're right. So there's the cleavage. And she's got a boobie here and a boobie there. And it just really, those little touches to me make all the difference. I mean, you know, I make these dolls where I love them. And those are things that mean to, they're important to me that they have their little boobies on straight. So anyway. This was a wire uh, ribbon, so I wanted to kind of use that. I'll get my hand in the picture. Uh, where it kind of gathered up and made a really cool neckline. And then, of course, I made a little rosette out of the wire. And then this is just stitched down flat so that it will, just to take away, I just think the black made a better, con made a better um, outfit, more, more contrast to it. Plus, it has the black lace on the bottom, so it ties it all back in. So anyway, these are her original bloomers. They're not the most fancy bloomers. She does have a little bit of a skirt of a slip that is attached to it. So she just has some pretty basic bloomers. And I did not dye them. None of this was dyed because I wanted her to look more, you know, not so out of the grave because, you know, but she's got a job to do. I love that. I love her outfit because to me it looks like a vintage dressing gown. I mean, if, she, if it had been open. And I guess there could have been a way I could have folded it and made it look like it had more of an opening. I don't know how those old dressing gowns worked. I could have opened it actually and put a dress something under it. But it does remind me of a dressing gown that they would wear. Kind of like, and I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but the Fall of House of Usher type clothing. In fact, now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna have some reference to the Fall of House of Usher for her because wow, come on now, that's awesome. Fit in the pendulum, that kind of storyline. Very Edgar Allan Poe-ish looking girl. So, so after saying that, I decided to do a little research on uh, the two stories. And I decided that she best fit the character Elizabeth Bernard Medina. I love Pit and the Pendulum. Those are two of my favorite movies growing up. You know, like my scariest movies. I always like to name my dolls. Um, over the years, I may have given her a number or something, but I really prefer to name them. I think they need to be a good character. It just gives them more personality. Anyway, look at that face. I mean, she's got the look. She's like, I'm telling you. And she's fun. And I will hope she goes to someone who really can enjoy how cool she is. And, and you know, she's a great Halloween decoration or just gothic. She's just the epitome of gothic at this point with her blacks and her reds and her and her dark lips and her pale skin. She is so much fun. And like I said, this is her your choice. You can change this out with something. Please accessorize accordingly. These are your girls once you bring them home. And let me know what you do with them because I always like to get pictures of my dolls when I get them when they get to their new homes.